Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to load GPS data in QGIS and how to convert it to a shapefile in QGIS. So, in order to bring the GPS data in QGIS, we must have this toolbar, which is uh, called as Data Source Manager toolbar. If you don't find this toolbar over here, right click on this empty space and you can find it under the toolbar section and you can find it data source manager toolbar over here you can you just have to enable it it will be automatically coming to the toolbar section so after doing so just click on click on this option open data source manager and here you can say you can see a lot of file formats is available for uh, uh, opening the particular uh, gps data just come down you could find gps and uh, you can see here First, uh, let me close the file and open it. Open the file validus. So you can see here. Once I have clicked it, and you can uh, directly come to the desired uh, location. So, and after that, you can uh, select the data which you required. For example, in this case, so I am going to first add the waypoints. So select the option waypoints and uh, select the option open. In here, you can see three options are available: waypoints, routes, tracks. So here, first of all, I'm going to add the waypoints because it's a waypoints file. I'm going to add it. So after doing it, you can just check in here. So it has been added. So it has been successfully added to the map canvas. So next we are going to add the track. So the same procedure. Once again, click on the open data source manager. Here we are going to once again browse for the file. So you can see here track. Select the option open. Here we need to select tracks and add it. So once you have added added it, you can just check it, check in over here. So the tracks has been added as well as the waypoints has been added successfully. These are the GPS files. So let me show you how to export it into a shape file. Now just click on the waypoints. First we have uh, imported and go to the option export and select the option save as save features as a dialog box will be opening. Here you can check check in. You can select the format. So here I am going to select ESRI shapefile format and you can uh, give the name for the file. So here I'm going to give the name as uh, well locations and you can select the projection based on your need. So for me it is uh, 4, uh, 4326 WGS84. You can see the option select fields to export and the export options. Here you can select uh, the fields which you are interested in. So if you don't have for example, if you don't want this URL, you can unselect it. Likewise, so you can do. And finally, click on the option OK. So it will be automatically exported that you can see over here. Successfully saved vector data to well locations. So let me show you. So this is the exported file. So likewise, you can also export it for the tracks. Click once. And, sorry, right click on it and go to the option export. Save features as Here I am going to give it as root and you can see the projection. Same thing you can select the fields which you are needed and hit the button OK in order to export the data. And you can also specify where this data has to be stored. For example, you can uh, choose this browse option. You can save the file wherever you need and hit the button save. So likewise you can do and now hit the button OK to export the data as a shapefile. So as you can see over here, it has been successfully exported as a shapefile. You can see it is exported as a SHP file. So if you have any doubts in this, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching Terra Special. Goodbye everyone.